So what would you say are your most effective techniques that you use in your coaching? My most effective technique is, as I said, teaching people how their brain works. I think a lot of the time we walk around, Eileen, like really unconscious as to what we're thinking. We think we know what we're thinking. We're like, oh my God, I'm an overthinker. It's all I do all day. But actually a lot of that isn't really, you're not actually aware of it. So I think teaching people how to be conscious and awake and aware of to what they're thinking is really important. And then tools about understanding how your mind works, how thoughts create feelings, how does that work? Feelings creating actions, results. You know, a lot of the time people just want to change results. And you, you know, I don't believe one can just focus on, right, what's the, let's get this result done. Because if our mind isn't right and our brain isn't right and our thinking around that goal isn't right, we're never really going to get there. Or we might get there like sporadically, but not keep it. So what I want to do is, is, you know, teach people with those tools of exactly how it works, which unfortunately isn't something that we're taught at school. I think if we, if we were, a lot of us would be very different. Yeah. Can you go deeper into that? Like for our listeners, because if it, say they have no idea what you're talking about, how thoughts turn into actions, like run us through how the mind works and how do we actually make change? So I would say that we are constantly in situations that are out of our control. Uh, you know, the plane is delayed, the weather is awful. She said this, he did that. They said this. These are things that we cannot control. And what we usually do is we use those examples and we say, it's that that makes me angry and it's that that makes me upset. But the truth is, it isn't. What makes us upset or angry is how we're choosing to think about that situation. So learning how to actually understand, hey, hang on, if I think about that differently, I'm going to feel better is really important. So reframing things, learning Mm. to challenge our thought process is very important. I often say to my clients, Eileen, it's very much like when we drive a car. So if you're driving a car in the UK, you're driving on one side of the car, you're looking at a certain area of your wing mirror, et cetera, et cetera. But when you drive in the USA, you're driving on the opposite side. And so it takes a little bit of time for your brain to like actually get into check. Oh, hang on. I'm not in the UK anymore. I'm driving in the USA. I need to go around that side of the car instead of that side of the car. And after a while, you naturally do it. So it's a process for your brain to get there. And that's the tool that I will teach people of how to get from A to B, you know, as fast as you possibly can. <laughs> 